Now the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops. And it's gonna be a beautiful day, that's plain to see. Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors, America's most popular and longest running TV fishing show. Now I'm going fishing with Bill Dance today. Thanks so much to all of you who have tuned in today for our unique show, Crawling in the White for Arkansas Trout. If you're a regular viewer, we don't have to tell you that trout fishing is not something our host Bill Dance does on a regular basis, but when he does get the chance, he's all over it. His good buddy Bruce Stanton, Vice President and General Manager of Rebel Lures headquartered in Arkansas, is an avid and regular trout man chaser. So when he hollers at Bill with an invite to join him in one of the fast-flowing Arkansas streams, Bill always hangs up his bass gear and heads over that way. Arkansas, known as the Razorback State, is well known for its natural beauty, clear lakes and streams, and abundance of natural wildlife, including big rainbow trout. The scenic White River there is renowned as Mid-America's premier trout stream, famous especially for its record rainbow and brown trout. Today, Bill and Bruce have made plans to tempt the trout there using a Rebel Lures Middle Wee Crawfish Lure and an extremely popular trout guide for these parts, Donald Craner, will keep them on track for finding the fish. Let's join him. That's a nice one, Bill. Boy, he's cutting it. Cutting it rusty, ain't he? Pretty rainbow. Look at that. We might ought to put a net under that one, you reckon? The way they slip and slide and, and cut it up. That crawfish in his mouth. They like it more crawdads. Boy, they do. Get on these old mossy banks, got some rocks out to the edge of them too. They're getting some crawdads on a regular basis. That's a pretty fish. You got There's that? There's that crawdad right there. Here you go, Bill. Look at that one. They're a gorgeous little fish, aren't they? Look at the coloration of those things. Okay, let's go home. Boy, that sure is pretty. The color's yeah, just you amazing. Know, hey, on the you trout. look at the trout family, like the rainbow, the cutthroat, the brook, the brown, and the, just the way the, as I said, the good Lord painted them, That's made it. them. They're just gorgeous fish. That's why I like coming out here and doing this. It's just, I love bass fishing, but you just don't get to see these beautiful colors. And you're fishing a beautiful river. You really are. You know, Arkansas has done a great job. Um, like you said, I've heard you say before. You know, the ramps and what they've done here with this fishery. They have, they've done a, the access to the river and what they've done with the trout program is phenomenal. They really have, they, they've taken the resource serious and uh, they, they know it's just great for fishermen to come out and enjoy it. And you know, you go on the boat ramps in the spring of the year and you'll see people from 10, 15 different states just any given day, they'll, they'll, they'll come from all over because it's like Donald's been telling us, this is the place you can catch trout year round. Not many places you can do that. All right, here we go. Got him. Oh yeah, look at the colors on that one. Isn't that a pretty devil? That's a dandy right there. Oh, There's a the crowded right there. Look at the Another colors dandy. on that one. Pinked up real good. He's beautiful. Boy, to get colored up pretty, isn't Boy, he's strong. Look nope. at all the way back to his tail. We got to put that coloration. I think we'll let him free. go. I think we'll let him go. Yeah. Yeah. We'll pop him in there. Oh, there he goes. He's All right. Good, Good one, fish. Good one. Bill Dance Outdoors is sponsored in part by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Rebel. Catch fish anywhere. 
and by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by the heart of Florida's Emerald Coast. Discover the lure of Gulf to Table Seafood brought in daily by Florida's largest fishing fleet. Visit our website and download your free Gulf to Table fishing and eating guide today. There's one. There's one right there. Oh, he popped that crawfish. Not a bad fish. It's all right. No. Predominant forage in here is crawfish right now, isn't it? They have a ton of crawfish in here, Bill. We're fishing these kind of shallow, rocky uh, places. It's got some moss on them, and those uh, crawfish will live up in that moss and, and along those rocks. Have you seen a trend? And the sales of these smaller baits over the past few years, Bruce? Definitely, uh, Bill, with people going more to kayak and canoe fishing and uh, wade fishing, fishing ponds and small bodies of water, there's definitely an uptick in rebel crawfish, crick hoppers, the natural looking baits, the bluegill. People relate to things that look like little critters, so uh, our sales have definitely spiked the last three or four years in that category. A lot of people using these quantum smokes, the smaller outfits. Well, see these little bitty reels? Yeah. They're small enough you can just palm them in, in your hand. It is. These little lightweight rods, like this little rod right here, it's just light as a feather, it's well balanced. It's got a sensitive tip, a tremendous amount of backbone. It's six foot three. You can spool it up with a four, six, eight pound test line. That's it. That's and, it. Uh, and it'll handle these baits. And, and that's the perfect combo to use for this little Rebel Middle E crawfish. You want something that's going to throw four, six, or eight pound test. And these are the types of lures. They look like a real crawfish. Anyone, regardless of their skill level, can, if they cast and reel it in, they're going to catch fish on it. Everybody seems to think these little bitty hooks, these little sixes, and these little eight size hooks are small. You stick one of them in your finger, <laughs> and i tell you one thing, I can haul you across the river and you'll be screaming, stop, 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 I'm stop. I'm coming stop. with you. <laughs> they, I mean, they hold. That's a good one there. Is that a rainbow? That'd be a brown right there. It is? It's a nice one. It's a pretty fish, isn't it? That's a pretty one. He don't quite compare that 12-pound rainbow you caught there last year, does he? Boy, I'm telling you what. He got in that, uh, he got in a stump, then he got over behind that rock. Big old rainbow like that on that four pound line, there ain't much you can do about it, is it? You wanna look at that again? I believe we are. All right, look at it. Let's take a look at that. Right, uh, let's let's take a look at that piece of video. That was good. And this was the same piece of equipment that uh, we caught him on, this little 6.3 smoke rod. And I mean, he gave it, he gave it a workout. Boy, that's a long time for one to need that. <laughs> How are you fishing now? I just reeling it. That's a good fish right there. He's way, way out there. He's taking Yeah. How important to drag on a little bitty outfit like that when you catch a big fish on a four pound test? Oh, big time. As good a rainbow I ever seen, Bill. We want to get that one in here. I'm getting sick of my stomach. That's a big fish. <laughs> Holy cow. Ooh, I got over that rock. All right, easy, right. easy oh, now. I am, I am, I am, I there am. There you go. There he is. Back up a bunch of rocks. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. You got him? That's a big rainbow. Woo! Woo! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, Bill, look at that. The line just came loose. Yep. The, the line just came loose. Bill, that really brings back some memories out there. That's the biggest rainbow I've ever had landed in 34 years. Uh, really? That was a heck of a heck of a rainbow right there. That was a great show. Oh, you know, we caught a bunch of nice fish in that show. That was a good time right there. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> Tickled to death. <laughs> That's a rainbow trout. <laughs>
Today's show is sponsored in part by Quantum Rods and Reels, Outsmart, Outfish, Outlast, Mystic Lubricants, Lubrication Domination, and Tracker Boats, Fish the Finest. Today's equipment log is brought to you in part by Fish Debunk. It keeps your hands scent free and clean so fish can't smell you. Use Fish Defunk unscented while fishing and Fish Defunk scented after fishing to remove all odors. Today's show is sponsored in part by Strand. The standard of dependability since 1958. Fish Defunk. Kill the stink. And Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. There we go. Oh, yeah. Donald, no, you might help him out with this one right here. That's a nice brown trout. Nice one. Hang on a minute there, Bill. Let me get the net. There he is. There's a, there's a bait right there, Bill. Let's That's get that thing out of here and look him over. Woo! That's a good one. <laughs> I bet he fought good. Isn't that uh, a dandy? <laughs> look at there. Ain't that a dandy? That right there weigh every bit of four, maybe four and a half. Yeah, well that is my biggest. Hey, he's a dandy. Yeah. That's a dandy fish right there. I thought I had, I had a, some moss and then I thought I had he a stick and it was coming out in the current then I felt him kind of pumping on it he never did really fight me until he got up to the boat and then he, he just kind of laid out. down on it then, then all of a sudden he took off and he jumped out of the water I noticed that I thought you had a big chunk of moss to start with he just kind of laid down right on top of it but he had it he was just kind of playing possum <laughs> he tried to figure out how to get rid of it he wasn't, playing possum, he, he wasn't playing possum when he got to that current that's though. right he had enough of that hadn't he? yeah Woo. Of all the micros that you sell, which is your best seller? I mean, the best seller of the ultralights is the crawfish, the Rebel crawfish. You've got three sizes in it now, but the uh, F77, the inch and a half one, that's uh, that's the best seller because you can take that anywhere on any small body of water and uh, catch fish on it. It's just that right size that catches a bunch of fish. As far as Rebel lures overall, the best seller is the pop I mean, oh, yeah. it's, it's been selling since the mid-1960s, and you know, it's always uh, one of the number one units. Oh, as the, far as bass baits and top water, that's, oh, my, yeah. that's my number one. No doubt. I love that bait. There he goes. That brook trout's pretty, Donald. That's a great fish, isn't it? They are pretty. And, you know, we don't give our fisheries credit enough so a lot of times we complain but you know those those fish are native up in the northeast and uh we get catch them down here in arkansas along with the browns and the rainbows cutthroats lots of species of trout so we're, we're real blessed to be here in arkansas this is one of the few places in the world where you can go and catch fish every day you know and you don't have to worry about it i can catch a fish it don't matter what's going on every day right here on the white river it's all man-made as far as uh the dam up there controls the water level and it changes several times a day. And those fish, the water rising or falling determines whether or not they're feeding. That's why I like coming out here and doing this. It's just, I love bass fishing, but you just don't get to see these beautiful colors. And you're fishing a beautiful river. You really are. Cut it up there. Small. There we go. 
No, no. Trophy. That's a trophy. Huh? That's an eight pound fish. Well, someday. That's slimy little old fish, ain't it? That sure are. Bill's question and answer of the week is brought to you by Bill Dance Digital. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube for great information that can improve your fishing. Why is it important to spool the correct amount of line on your reel? Well, if you fail to fill it, it requires more revolutions of the handle to take up line. This means your lure speed is going to be slower when you begin your retrieve. After a long cast, then it will be as it gets closer to the rod tip. If you overfill the spool, it's more apt to backlash. And that's your strand line Q&A tip of the week. Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort. And Motor Guide, trolling motors engineered for anglers. Closed captioning is provided by Bill Dance Digital. Follow us. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series, chart plotter, sonar combos. With advanced sonar technology like Chirp and exclusive Panoptics all-seeing sonar, you'll spend less time finding your fish. The most important thing is to buy what makes sense for you. What works best for the type of fishing that you're going to be doing, the type of boat you have. It's easy to spend more or less than you really should on these electronics. So make sure you dial down exactly what you're going to be doing with it. And with Garmin, it's easy to figure out which unit you need. If you're looking for the latest fishing information and tips, be sure to check out the free Bill Dance mobile app available for both iOS and Android users. You know, there's a lot of uh, crankbaits that are painted up like a crawfish. This little rebel crawdad, the body looks exactly like one and they're painted like one. Uh, it's, a, it's a perfect imitation. Bill, you grew up fishing a lot of moving water, didn't you? Oh yeah, today, I mean, it's still my favorite form of fishing. I'd rather, of all the different types of fishing, moving water is my favorite. Whether it be a creek, uh, a small river, or a major river. Uh, I, I love moving water. And the thing about moving water, it's always changing. Sometimes a little high, a little oh, yeah. low, and you always see oh, something yeah. different. Ooh, powerful. That's a dandy. Oh, there's a nice brown right there. He's a dandy. I'm gonna bring him around to you. You got him? Got him right there. Look at that. He ate that. He, he ate got that. him a mouthful of that crawdad right there, didn't he? Yeah. That little brown trout right there, he liking that thing. Let's get them hooks out of there. Mm, things got him. Them I little hooks get on them now. I had a fly sting the side of my head. That's what that fish thought. There's your bait I'll get, right I'll get there, that Bill. Bait it's obvious these uh, trout are, are sight feeders. You know, in this extremely clear water. How much importance do you put on line color? I noticed you told me to spool up with Strand Original, low vis green line. Bill, that's one of the most important things that we have is a line choice that's on the reel. Uh, we have to have some low vis line, that really clear water, they're gonna see it. So we six pound test or less, and then the fluorocarbon or something that's showing up a dark, dark green color uh, will really help you. The, the bigger your line, the less bites you're gonna have. So like low vis green, you really like that? You bet. That's that's one of my favorites right there. A little better. I need to get out of your way. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. He's shaking that head. Little brown trout right there. Yep. 
He liked that car, did Yeah, hey, he did, man. How about that? Man, you're making That's me nervous. Actually, I was trying to let him take it. That's better than what we thought it was. That's a cutthroat. <laughs> Is it really? Yep. Is it really? That's a good cutthroat. Uh huh. You know, he looked, he's got that color like a brown pants guy. I didn't even realize it until he got in the boat. There you go. Here you go, Bruce. Look at that. All right, boy, that's a pretty one. Isn't that a pretty one? That's the slam. That's the slam. That's a pretty cutthroat. They kind of do look like a brown a little bit. That when one does. Them in. Yeah. Yep, that one does. He fooled me until right. we got him in there. All right, let's go right over here. I'll let him go. All right, buddy. Well, as always, our show host and guests hate it when we run out of showtime each week. But as usual, we're getting that warning signal again and need to start heading out of here. We'd like to thank our special guest, Bruce Stanton of Rebel Lures, for providing his expertise and assisting with some great fish catches today. Also, kudos to Super Trout Guide Donald Craner of Craner's Guide Service in Gasville, Arkansas. As you've seen today, this guy absolutely knows his stuff, and you sure won't be sorry if you enlist in his services. Hope you enjoyed fishing along with us today in this beautiful area of Arkansas, and we'll look forward to seeing you again next time. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dams today. Thanks for watching Bill Dance Outdoors. Join us here again next week. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today.